Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Yair Dahan, and I'm an application consultant, a consultant at Synopsis Israel. I am actually running the, the FPGA product line, I'm managing the FPGA product line in, at uh, Synopsis Israel. In this session, I would like to introduce you our uh, solution a platform named Hubs for prototyping. And uh, with the, the main features uh, that uh, we support and we give, uh, uh, we reduce the complexity of uh, prototyping for, uh, uh, for prototypers. Uh, of course, we have a demo session later on, Hubs demo session. I, if you want to, uh, to get more uh, information, to ask more questions, to see more uh, uh, nice uh, features, please join me to the Hubs uh, demo session. So let's start. Uh, we have at Synopsys two main product lines regarding a prototyping system. I want to emphasize uh, uh, that we are not selling just hardware. We are selling solutions. Solutions that include the hardware, include software, include support, and include a lot of daughter board interfaces, IPs, etc., uh, etc. Et it is very important to, to emphasize this uh, uh, message. So, as I mentioned, we have two main product lines related to uh, prototyping. Uh, one product line named Hubs S6 that includes several, uh, uh, several uh, products. And, and we have also the Hubs AT or the Hubs Next Generation platform uh, that is already uh, in the market and uh, we have the leadership that using it already. The Next Generation platform, I will not expose it now, but if you have any uh, question and you want to, to know more details, just uh, uh, approach to me. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, we have the Hubs S6. Hubs S6 actually is a... a platform that include the biggest FPGA that we have uh, today in the market, the V90P, and uh, I will talk about it uh, uh, in a minute on this platform. Uh, it's a perfect platform for uh, IP development or IP validation, a uh, prototyping of, uh, uh, of uh, IPs. And we have also the Hubs 80. This is the, the widest uh, uh, system all over the world. This is the current uh, uh, generation. It's a multiple, uh, multiple system with multiple FPGA, FPGAs. It could be uh, used as a one platform for FPGAs or chaining FPGAs, or even in parallel, several users can use the same platform. We have also uh, integrated prototyping solution with the hardware that include the, the proto compiler, the software part, of course, and, and, and I will mention it later on. And we have the next generation. A platform. As for the Hubs S6 V19P, this is a, a, a solution with one FPGA. Uh, we give in this uh, solution a lot of uh, uh, interfaces like Ethernet, USB, a JTAG, and so on. We give most of the uh, IOs, user IOs, to the uh, to the user in order to interface the system with. Uh, uh, external world interfaces. We give access to all of the uh, service, the G2I service for Xilinx in the, uh, in the FPGA. We have very uh, advanced clocking mechanism in the system in which that you can uh, configure each clock uh, frequency with external PLL that we have uh, uh, on, the, uh, on the system. It's come with a, a software that you can uh, configure the, the, the system. We have also the DDR4 uh, SOD DDR4, SOD, SD, JTAG, and more uh, interfaces uh, in order to give you the most flexi flexible uh, options to prototype your uh, IP. I'm still on the Hubs S6 product line. The Hubs S6, as I mentioned, include the VU, the uh, VU 90 p uh, single PGA. But we have also under this family of Hubs S6, we have also uh, uh, another solutions that include one, uh, one FPG of the Britex Ultra Scale 440 uh, with dash one, dash two. We have also two FPGAs, we have four FPGAs. This is a product line, is low cost product line that you can uh, uh, use for 
uh, your prototyping uh, system. If you need more DSP slides, so, so we have a daughter, we have board with the view 30P for FPGAs that you can use. All of those boards have a interface USB or a PCIe or Ethernet interface in which you can configure the board and uh, program the FPGA and debug your, uh, your design. Okay, now we are coming to the high-end uh, high solution. This is the HUBS 80. HUBS 80, uh, is, it stands for multi-FPGAs uh, systems. Uh, uh, the basic system has four FPGAs, it's a VU440. It's equivalent to 104 million ASIC gate in each uh, system. You can, of course, change the systems and get a much bigger system. For those systems, we have also the software uh, uh, solution, which we will talk about it in, in a minute. And the system is modular and scalable, means that you can use one FPGA or two FPGA for each design, or two users can use two, two FPGA in parallel, or four, user, four users can use four FPGA uh, in, in parallel. In, uh, fast bring up, fast uh, prototype bring up with our uh, software, uh, the software name is protocompiler, and it and it and it it's include a partition tool, a synthesis tool, and also a, a Vivado tool, including the in the package in the ecosystem. And we have more than eighty five dot, different daughter boards for different interfaces that you may need in order to give you a, a solution for all your interfaces for your design and, and, and so on. As, uh, as for the software part, the EDA software, in this case, I'm talking about the uh, prototyping software and, uh, named a uh, protocompiler. The main capabilities of a uh, protocompiler is, uh, uh, as mentioned here in this slide, I will uh, emphasize uh, some of them. Uh, we have the uh, Unify Compiled. Unify Compiled is the front end of the tool. The front end actually is the VCS co uh, compilation engine. This gives you a, a huge advantage that what you are, uh, what is passing for you in simulation will pass also uh, from compilation engine, I mean, will pass also in a, a prototyping flow. Uh, so you have the confidence, you don't need to have two different development environment. It will handle very complex uh, system, very low uh, structure. Uh, we are supporting also the UPF uh, uh, and, and so on. We have also in the software partition, partitioning engine. This partitioning engine can be fully automatically, 100% automatically, or semi-automatically. It depends on the performance that you uh, want to achieve and the time to, to, to get the first uh, prototyping uh, version uh, that you have. Uh, our tool also uh, know how to infer uh, memories that written in system very low, very low, VHD, and so on. Uh, and the main principle is that the memory inferred with the, uh, the technology, the FPGA technology that uh, you are uh, using. We have uh, all the engines can run in faster uh, runtime, means in distributed mode. It's, uh, the, the compilation can run in distributed mode and also the synthesis can run in this distributed mode. It's kind of incremental, uh, incremental compile and synthesis in order to reduce the, uh, the runtime. Uh, we have uh, the protocompiler tool that handle the HAPS 80 and HAPS next generation system that we have. Uh, handle also, it's a kind, it's a cockpit that have partition, synthesis, a uh, partition engine, synthesis engine, compilation engine, and also debug, debug engine in order to debug your uh, design. We have different capabilities of uh, debug. The three main of the debug capability that we have, we have on chip memory, this is the buffer that we use in order to, to, to uh, store the instrumented signal that we want to, to have a visibility uh, in, the, in the lab, in the debug session. We have D-Trace debug, very nice feature that you have <clears throat> the option to, uh, to have external memory to store the, uh, the instrumented signal. In this case, you can have much more uh, uh, signals, thousands of signals to store in external memory. This is not uh, uh, take any FPGA resources. 
we and we have and we have also support in the global state visibility technology in which you can uh, download all the uh, values of the uh, sequential element inside the, the FPGA. It can be asynchronous or synchronous, so the clock can be uh, in each rising edge of the clock. You can uh, uh, load uh, the values, and uh, we have also uh, interface to the Verdi uh, a debug tool in order to build the picture uh, in, in the time, uh, the time frame uh, for all the the design in the FPGA. We support also hybrid prototyping in which part of the design can be in the FPGA and other part of the design can be uh, implemented with software, system very log or system C, uh, and the communication will be through uh, transactors that we support them. And we have uh, also the, uh, the features that uh, can, can can give easy uh, easy life to the prototypers like uh, get it log conversion. We support also for the uh, Design World Foundation IP more than uh, almost 200 Design World Foundation like uh, log dividers, FIFO, uh, memory, multipliers, and so on. That the tool, the proto compiler tool, know how to implement it in the opti optimized may a way to the uh, in the FPGA in the relevant technology. We support in the cross -re model reference and also uh, the UPF for uh, uh, power behavioral uh, designs. Each, each uh, system, each hardware system include uh, in the package all what you need in order to prototype your design. That can be uh, it's the software and also the, uh, the hardware uh, together in, in order to give you uh, uh, the full package to prototype your design. Uh, I can uh, share with you a lot of uh, uh, examples also here in Israel, in Europe, worldwide. Uh, market leaders are using hubs and it gives them a lot of uh, added value if it's ARM uh, uh, company that do the shift left, shift left uh, with uh, uh, hubs uh, system in order to shorten the, the, the runtime and do more testing uh, per uh, Per time uh, time slot or time frame, we have Nvidia, we have Intel for the UPF design that was uh, uh, validated with UPF uh, instantiation component component inside this design. Uh, we have the uh, option to debug with Verdi. So different customer have different uh, uh, reason why to choose a hubs system. One is because runtime reduction. One is because the uh, easy and stability flow for each uh, run. One is for, because of the uh, uh, options to give you a lot of uh, debug, debug options for your design and so on. The hubs have, as I mentioned in, in, the, in the first uh, slide, we are selling solution. We are not selling board. So I cannot have all the, the features in one in, in shows in so short time. So if you want to hear more, please join me to the uh, demo session or invite me to your uh, company and I will uh, give you uh, much more details on each features that can be, uh, uh, can fit for your uh, technical requirement. So as I, I mentioned, a uh, hubs is, is an ecosystem that have a lot of options options to develop a software by a different uh, uh, interface option for uh, for developed hybrid prototyping in which part of this part of the modules are implemented in in a system C or different kind of uh, a software language and there the interface to the hardware is by using uh, transactors as I mentioned we are uh, supporting UPF very uh, advanced UPF uh, structure. We have the speed adapter that I will talk about it in a minute in order to uh, validate IPs like Ethernet, like MIPI, like USB, PCIe. It's external uh, hardware uh, that can be connected to the to our hubs uh, system. And we have a, a echo, lot of uh, kind of ecosystem, a lot of daughter board, our daughter board or third party. A daughter board that can be plugged into the uh, hub system and give you interface to, to, to what uh, to the relevant protocol that you want to achieve with uh, a prototyping. 
Uh, as I mentioned before, we have a, a solution uh, for IPs named Hubs Speed Adapters in order to, uh, to connect your uh, design to real world uh, IO. This speed adapter is supported uh, for Zebo. Zebo is our uh, emulation platform and also it supported Hubs prototyping system. So you can uh, connect this speed adapter to the Hubs uh, system in order to uh, uh, validate your, uh, your design, your IP design. For each speed adapters, each speed adapter is a single, it supports single protocol, single IP protocol. For each uh, uh, adapter, it can be preloaded with bit, uh, with, with bit file or configured with custom uh, changes for your uh, 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 requirement. The connection to the hub system is very simple by using half track three uh, cable. Half track three is the, the cables that uh, support our connectors in, uh, in the hub system, hubs 6 and also hubs uh, 18, hubs next generation uh, platform. Uh, the current generation of speed adapter is the speed adapter 2, and we support currently the Ethernet protocol in 400 gig 8 port or 400 gig 32 port, and we develop now the speed adapter Ethernet in 800 gig. We have PCI Gen 5, we have SATA, USB, uh, display port and much more uh, protocols in order to, uh, uh, to prototype them on real world uh, interfaces on our hubs. Here you can see some uh, a nice example how a, a different daughter board that we have, uh, you can uh, implement your uh, IPs. We have a daughter board for a block, for a, a RAM a DDR. RAM interfaces, we have DDR4, low power DDR4, DDR3, uh, and so on. We have the uh, PCIe endpoint Gen 5, Gen 4, and also actually Gen 5 that can be a, a prototype with our hubs uh, system. Uh, we have the MIPI uh, solution uh, that was implemented on uh, hubs. We have FMC with high speed IO that connect to the uh, GTY service designings on the, our hubs platform. We have adapters to a ARM a, a processor and, and much more a, a, a daughter board a, for a lot of a different protocols that we support with the hub systems. A, yes, as I mentioned, we have a, hubs is an ecosystem is actually a solution for a, that give you, it's a solution for your prototyping system in order to do it very uh, fast and very uh, stable with, with uh, the most uh, uh, optimized tool. Uh, we have more than 10, 85 different interfaces that we support by daughter board, by third party that's work with us, echo, uh, third party that build those daughter board or by our daughter board or by a speed adapter and so on. Let us know what you need and we will find for you the, the right solution with apps. We have also for a bigger, a big customer that, that have a lot of uh, uh, hubs system, we have the uh, hubs gateway solution in order to give you more uh, efficiency, how to run your, your farms, who is using which system, uh, and who is in which system is in idle mode, and you can optimize the usage of your farm, of your hardware farm by using uh, our hubs gateway that gives you access, access to the system through the browser, or uh, and you can uh, customize it by uh, writing your own Python script in order to see uh, which user is user in which system, uh, what is the hardware configuration, what the, what the end user, end user in this case is the software guy, what he need in order to use the system, which script he need to run and so on and so forth. It's uh, actually a very, a, a optimized mechanism to give you a, a lot of uh, efficiency when you work with uh, multiple uh, hubs systems. That's all. This is the what I wanted to say. So remember, we have the uh, we have the hubs system prototyping system is not just in hardware. It's hardware with software with support with IPs. 
all what you need in order to prototype your uh, uh, design. The design can be small, the design can be big, the uh, design can be one IP that you can use our hubs S6 platform in order to uh, uh, implement it. So we have the highest performance uh, and uh, the next generation already in the market and uh, user are using it. Thank you. And I hope to see you in the near future.